Same as in other industry sectors, companies possess specific intellectual property, in particular derived from intensive investments into research and development, which shall be protected by patent filing. In general, developed prototype already serves as object for patent filing, further 5 to 10 years pass until broad preclinical and clinical studies are justifying market approval. Thus, patent protection that is valid for 25 years has lost up to 10 years profitability until final product was placed on the market. Remaining 15 years should be profitable because research and development costs have been relatively high. After patent protection has ended, former protected agent may be copied. Best known example here is acetyl salicylic acid, which has been patented in the beginning of the 20th century under the business name Aspirin. Track record of approved biosimilars are strongly influenced by leading generic manufacturers within the European Union. After 2001, first patent protection flew off, it took about three years until first biosimilar application has reached the EMEA. In 2005, first comprehensive guideline appeared for applications. On the following year, final guideline for non-clinical and clinical proceeding was published. Considering complex structures of biopharmaceuticals, there are two biological phenomena in the main focus, tertiary structure and glycosylation pattern. These two aspects are essential for functionality and thus for effectiveness of biopharmaceuticals. Finally, protein drugs have to fulfill two requirements. Finding the target, for example a receptor on a cell surface, and cause of desired effect, which is shown by the proof of concept within clinical studies. One step backwards from final product reaches formulation. Here interest lies in solid or liquid formulation, addition of adjuvants for stabilization or therapeutic improvement, making this aspect important for bioequivalence. Purification efforts are more difficult to consider since crystal structures do not reveal information on this. Level of purity, however, indicates necessary number of chromatography steps to achieve similar properties. Further consideration can be done regarding additional purification steps such as desalting, ion exchange or filtration for virus clearance in case of viral transductions that lead to higher purity and stability. The most important step for optimal copy is certainly knowledge of the expression system, because post-translational modifications such as folding or glycosylation are strongly depending on the expression system, for example CHO, HEC, HeLa, insect cells or E. coli.